Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. I'm just going to take a quick look at all the genomic stocks that we have in our watch list and see how they are performing and try to see if there are any clues at all as to their taking off or their dropping off, any technical clues. So let's get started. Let's go to the trading view platform. Well friends, here we are in the trading view platform and we are looking at Beam Therapeutics. And Beam has gained 11.94% today and it all seems to be uh, due to the coverage started by HC Wainwright and uh, they have a positive coverage for Beam and as a result the stock price has shot up. Uh, will it be able to maintain this? I don't know uh, but that's what we have here right now. Uh, we have a resistance uh, which was um, at 29.41 which has now been converted into a support thanks to the rally today. So things are looking good. We have a couple of golden crosses out here, which again, something I like. Uh, RSI is overbought at this point of time, but I think it can go up a little bit more. MACD is bullish. Things are looking great. And we have results on the 6th of August, 2024, the quarterlies. Uh, hopefully we uh, are able to justify the rise in the share price and uh, begin a bull run from there. Bluebird is up 8.77%. And my thought process is that because of the fact that they are not being allowed to uh, pay for fertility care, which would have cost them $70,000 per uh, patient, uh, for lady patient, uh, I think that adds back to the bottom line. And that's why we have uh, the gains in the last two days. Other than that, I can't think of anything else. Uh, of course, they have their earnings coming on the 6th of August. Uh, we have to see what they do with the earnings whether they meet the market expectations and if we get any hints on their financial stability uh, eritas is up 7.58 percent today uh, don't see anything new out here macd is looking uh, good and momentum is also rising so um, the price is likely to go up further from here then we have prime which was up 7.75 percent momentum is just about average and MACD is just about beginning to be positive back again after having gone very close over to the signal line. So Prime, I think, is looking positively inclined. Verve was up 7.10% today. RSI is uh, just about to be overbought. And MACD is still bullish. So, so far so good. It's looking good. It's just about converted the 100-day exponential moving average, which is this yellow line, uh, into a support. Uh, DNA is up 6.5%. Still, it's a penny stock uh, for 30 cents at this point of time. Uh, they need a lot of work uh, and I don't know what they're going to talk about on 13th of August 2024 uh, that can push uh, the share price to above a dollar. Otherwise, they're going to have problems. Uh, they may be getting notices from the stock exchange. Allogene was up 7.09%. Momentum, MACD, both are looking good, but MACD is getting weaker. That's a concern. Uh, earnings is on 7th of August. Intelia was up 4.58%. And in case of Intelia, one could argue that we see a double bottom, but we already have seen a downward trend out here. Uh, this could probably look like a cup and handle. So I, th I think that overall, uh, I would be a little bit bullish on Intelia. Uh, we have also got their uh, earnings coming up on 1st of August. Uh, momentum is above average. MACD is also bullish. So I'm happy with Intelia. Uh, IMTX is up 4.62%, a stupendous gain today. Let me see if there is any news. Um, no, yesterday Wall Street analysts predicted a 54.94% upside in IMATIX. So that could be it. So there is a gain out here. There was a bull channel going on and we had a bullish pennant and we have broken out above that. So that's how I would see it. Uh, more gains on the pipeline for IMTX. Caribou is up 3.45%, still supported by the 9-day exponential moving average, pushed down by the 50-day exponential. Uh, ma uh, momentum is above average and MACD is bullish, but it's moving towards the signal line. So mixed signals out here. PSEB is up 2.22%. Uh, momentum is above average, but MACD is moving towards the signal line. So again, mixed signals. And the 50-day exponential is curbing the price right now. ARCG is up 2.19%. Momentum is above average. MACD is also moving in the right direction. So overall, I think uh, we have a winner in ARCG. It should go up further. And its next challenge is going to be the 200-day uh, exponential moving average at 27.41, which is this white line out here. 
CRISPR Therapeutics is up 1.80% and it still has got resistance at 58.84. Momentum is just about average and MACD has just turned bullish. So it's all going in the right direction for CRISPR. Alt immune is up 0.94% uh, and uh, MACD is bearish and momentum is also below average, not looking great. Binano is up 1.95%, mRNA is down minus 0.99%, Illumina is down 1.76%. Uh, momentum is looking pretty good and MACD is looking a bit weak. Momentum is moving in the wrong direction even though it's above average. We have earnings coming up on 6th of August. I am I'm thinking that maybe the earnings will throw up a catalyst uh, that can improve the stock. That said, let's look at Grail, which was down 5.08%. Very, very volatile stock. Uh, and I think that kind of brings me to an end of the summary for today's price action in genomic. I guess uh, most of us as genomic investors have been through hell and back. Uh, that is light at the end of the tunnel. September rate cut is what I'm looking forward to. Good times are coming up. I'm going to stock up on whatever I think is good. I'm already um, into ArcG. I have it. It's negative. I have got Bluebird. It's negative. Uh, I have got some DNA. That's also negative. Uh, so I'm still th contemplating CRISPR therapeutics, uh, still playing with FNGU and FNGD to multiply the money a little bit. Uh, let us see what happens. I've still not made my decision on CRISPR therapeutics. I'll keep you updated. You also, please let me know what are you thinking about the genomic stocks. Uh, put your thoughts in the comment section. If you want me to talk about something specifically in genomics, please let me know and I'll pick that up for you. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.